were wandering in darkness and error. The four church leaders came together to lay a wreath on the grave of St. Patrick. If nothing else, they proved that politics doesn't always have to intrude on religion. After the political wrangle of the past week, Cardinal O'Fee and the Presbyterian moderator, Dr. Hard Crummy, with the Archbishop of Armagh, Dr. John Armstrong, and the Reverend Paul Kingston of the Methodist Church, were remembering that St. Patrick is the patron saint of all Christians in Ireland. It was a gesture of reconciliation and understanding, which barely took notice of a dozen free Presbyterian protesters outside the cathedral grounds. The Church of Ireland Bishop of Down and Dromore, Dr. Robin Eames, said that they came together aware of differing ideas about the future, aware of anger and suspicion, and much grief and bereavement. We meet together in this shadow of suffering and sadness. We pray together in the reality of our divisions. But we come as simple pilgrims who need to hear desperately the voice of a loving, caring Father. We ask today for his peace, his spirit of love, as we seek a way forward. There were also several parades throughout the North. Shortly after this one on the Falls Road, Orange men paraded to a church service on the nearby Shankill. There was a second Orange parade in the east of the city, while the largest AOH celebration was at Cushion Doll in the Glens of Antrim.